Hey guys, it's Christy again, and today I wanted to film for you a video about some Sephora stuff that I just recently got. Now this is sort of a mini haul. I did go to Sephora about two months ago maybe, and I did a big haul there, and if you wanna watch that, I will link it in the description of this video. Um, but this is a time that I went back to Sephora to return a couple of items. I just really wasn't that happy with them after buying them, and in my opinion, if you buy something from Sephora and you don't like it, I would return it because um, everything's really freaking expensive there. So if you don't like it, why would you keep it? I don't know. Maybe that's just me. So what I returned was the Ulla Henriksen skincare kit, the works kit. It broke me out like mad. I mean, my whole face. I You could go look at my Instagram. It was a while back, but I posted a picture about how it just really broke me out. I was all red on this side and it was like every night that I would wake up the next day my face would be more broken out and my foundation wasn't sitting right on my skin it was like sliding off like it was almost as if the the oils in the kit or, or something were making my foundation not be able to soak in plus I was oilier than ever while using it so Done with that, I returned that. I also, I'm sad to say I returned the First Day Beauty um, red clay mask. That's more for oily skin and my skin is normally plain combination dry, sometimes a little bit oily in my T-zone. But the First Day Beauty mask was really good and I really liked it. However, I've come to the conclusion that for me, with skincare, less is more. The more I do to my skin, the more it hates me. So if I just leave it alone and don't do anything to it, I have a good complexion. But if I do too much to it, I'm like, ah, it's just too much. So anyway, I returned those two things and that gave me like an $85 credit, which yeah, shows you how expensive those were. So I picked up a couple of cool things from Sephora that I've been wanting to try and a couple of things I had not heard about couple things already I think I'm about returning. So the first thing I picked up was a sample of the Benefit Professional. This was $10 so it wasn't like a free sample or anything. Um, I used it yesterday for the first time and I, I really don't have that much of an opinion on it so far but when I do I will definitely let you guys know. Um, it has a very strong fragrance to it. That's the first thing that I can say. Most things that I've realized is that getting expensive things from Sephora means Scents. And I don't know what that is, but I feel like cheaper things are unscented and all these expensive things have a scent to them. So I don't know about all that. Um, I also picked up the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. I will be maybe returning. I'm not 100% sure. I should do a review on it. The Tarte Amazonian Clay 12, or, or Airbrush Foundation, the powder that I got last time. I am not into it, you guys. It's shiny. It's got like a shimmer to it. Makes your skin almost look like you like you put foundation on and then you put Mary Luminizer or some kind of highlight all over your face. So when you step outside, you're like shiny. I don't know. Some people love it. I, in my opinion, I didn't know it had a shine to it. So when I got to work and I was in the car looking at my makeup before I went in, I was like blown away at how shiny I was. So I don't know. Plus to me, it's just a lot of work buffing it into my skin. It's not faster in my opinion with a beauty blender and this. I really like this so far. It's what I'm wearing today. Um, I don't know how easy it is to tell, but that's this here, so I picked that up. And to go on top of it, this was a recommendation from the gal at Sephora. This is the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. And I picked this up because <sighs> I found my foundation and everything to be like quite cakey and not wanting to stay on my nose especially. So I asked her, she had the most beautiful skin ever, and I asked her what she used, and she uses this here. Um, she used the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation with this over top, and she applies it with a damp beauty blender. And I have been using this the last couple days and I think I like it. I'm not 100% sure how I love it on my skin, but I will definitely let you guys know. But it's a good setting powder so far. Um, I also, this was like an impulse buy when I was at the register, but I picked up the Smith's Ro Rosebud Salve Balm. And again, I don't know what it is about higher end products, but they have a scent to them that I'm not a fan of. It's like... Everything smells more mature. Maybe I'm too immature to shop at a place like Sephora for their scents, but I feel like their scents are really like gaggy almost. I don't know if you guys agree with me on that. Um, I love the way this feels. When I swatched on the back of my hand, I was like, hell to the yeah. And then um, I put it on my lips. I love the way it feels on my lips, but I don't like the smell of it. And it's a rosebud salve. You think I would love it? It almost smells to me like medicated 
in in a grandma way. I, I don't know, maybe you guys can let me know what you think. Um, I also picked up something that I don't like and I'll probably be returning. I tried it on in the store and you guys ever, bleh, you guys ever try on a perfume in a store and it smells really good, you get it home and you're just like, ah, I don't know, like I had already tried on so many, I feel like it was mixing with the others and making me like it. This is the Chloe Ear to Eau de Parfum, I don't know how to say that. This is just Chloe and a lot of people have said this is an amazing perfume and it is. It must just be me. It must just be me. Like, I, I think it's just my scent preferences. It makes me gag. I don't know what the hell is wrong with me, but this scent is making me freaking gag. Like, I put it on last night when we went out to dinner, I like rollerballed it, I put it all over my, every time I would like turn my head and smell, I'd be like gagging. Like, I don't like the way that it smells. I don't understand what's wrong with me. But anyway, yeah, I'm just not a huge fan of the Chloe. I don't know why. It was like $25 too. Like, why did I buy this? I, I got, I posted on Instagram that I wasn't a huge fan of this and I got a ton of recommendations of really good smelling perfume. So I'm going to go back to Sephora and return this because I've only rollerballed it on myself once. Hopefully they can just resell it. I feel really bad because I hope they don't just like throw these away, but maybe I won't return it. I'll just keep it or gift it. I don't know, but it just, I just don't like it. What's wrong with me, you guys? Okay, the last product I picked but Sephora was also a recommendation from the really cute girl that helped me. I don't know her name. Oh my god, you guys, she was so cute. She had the best eyebrows I think I've ever seen. She had the cutest, most dainty septum ring. And her skin was like flawless and amazing. Like I have a girl crush on her. I don't even know who she was. But she did get my, I gave her my YouTube card and I was like, check me out. So maybe she will, who knows. Anyway, this is the Blink Ultra Thin Eyeliner Liquid Pen because she was wearing the most beautiful winged eyeliner I think I've ever seen. It was perfect, perfection. And it's got the finest tip on it, you guys. So fine, so, so, so fine, fine, fine. Like you don't understand the fineness of this tip. I don't know if you can see here. I'll, do, I'll get a closer up in a minute. But it's the finest tip, it leaves such a precision line and you can get an amazing, amazing winged eyeliner with this very simply. So if you are really bad at doing winged eyeliner, I would say this is a great, a great thing to get. And it was, it was not that expensive. I'm not hundred percent sure on that, but, um, yeah, I would definitely pick this up. I just got the color black. They have lots of different, um, types on the end there too. It was like on an end slate in Sephora. And that's all I got from them. Um, and then I went over to Macy's. I've tried Nordstrom first and they didn't have it, but I have heard nothing but good things about the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. And if you are somebody who has heard or hasn't heard about this, basically it is apparently like this magical cream that you can use as a gloss, you can use as on your eyes, you can use it to highlight your cheeks. Really honestly, I looked it up online because I'm like, what is this magical product for $18? It's um, it's petroleum jelly. So that's the active ingredient. It says here, petrolatum, 56.8% as a skin protectant. It says here, uses, treats symptoms of chapping, peeling, flaking due to minor burns, skin, skin burns, sunburns, windburns, scrapes, abrasions, and cracked lips. Um, honestly, you guys, it's, it's basically petroleum jelly or Vaseline. However, it has a scent I'm not fond of. Um, but it does do some beautiful things. So, I mean, you know, it's kind of comes out in like this orange tone. It's hard to, it's hard to say. It feels a little different to me than, um, than like Vaseline would. It's a little softer, but a little stickier in a weird way, but it's very shiny when you apply it. And I have been putting it on my lips at night. It says here, it's good for cracked lips. I don't know. They call it a legendary skincare classic. It's funny though when you find out a legendary skincare classic is like 50, 60% like Vaseline. You know what I mean? And then it's got some vitamin E in it. So like mix those two together, make your own home Elizabeth Arden eight hour cream. But anyway, I went and paid, you know, $18 for it because I'm a sucker like that. Um, I think I got the fragrance free version of that and in my opinion, it's still quite fragranced. The regular fragrance version smells like your grandmother's mothball software. Like it smells like a medicated ointment. And if you like that, great. If you don't, you will hate it. But I got the fragrance free and um, 
I guess we'll see. I don't know why I buy into these things, you guys. Like, and then I do that, so I go home and I buy it, and then, so I buy it, and then I go home and research it, and I'm like, what the F did I buy that for? And then I'm like, sit there and I hate it, I just look at it, and I'm like, you're stupid. Like, why would I waste my money on a glorified, like, it's a glorified Vaseline. Inactive ingredients, lanolin. Well, I guess lanolin's good. Um, mineral oil, a bunch of shit. Vegetable oils, and benzyl alcohol, iron oxides. They're all inactive. I mean, anyway. So, so that's all the shit that I got at Sephora and then I got that one at Macy's. So yeah, I guess that's pretty much it guys. I just wanted to show you that I did return those two items because a lot of people have been asking me about skincare or which items I liked. I will probably do a separate review on that foundation, but I don't know, who knows, who knows. Um, otherwise, you guys can see I cut my hair and actually I didn't cut my hair. <laughs> I was just wearing hair extensions in all my last videos. This is just how long my hair is. I did trim up the bottom a little bit to make it like more blunt cut, but this is all my hair. So when I tell you that I lost a lot of hair or my hair got really thin, this is it. So this is that. Uh, I don't know what you guys think, but let me know. It's short, but I think it's all right. It's not too short for me. It's not like a pixie cut or anything where it's gonna make my face look 10 times rounder. So yeah, uh, I thank you guys for watching. If you would like to follow me on my other social media sites, all the links are in the description of this video. Let me know if you guys like my new background. This is probably what's gonna stay. This is some new stuff that I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, I got like this little flower vase thing here and this little, I don't even know what you call it, like a terrarium, but you put like candles inside of it. So anyway, I, this is probably going to be my new background from now on. I've got this whole setup here that is a little easier for me. And I know you can see out my back window, but I hope that's okay. Let me know what you guys think. I also changed the lighting a little bit. So hopefully this is better lighting and this is the lighting that's going to stay. I have been messing with it so much. My last few videos were really, really bright and I feel like this is a little bit better. So let me guys, let me guys, I always fucking say that. Let me know what you guys think about this and I will see you guys at my next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want more videos from me on a regular basis, I upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday every week. So subscribe if you would like to and I will see you guys at my next video. Bye.